Nothing says good sportsmanship like ripping out your opponent's spinal cord. Hey everyone, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Mortal Kombat finishes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. We'll be ranking the most iconic, humorous, and otherwise classic finishing moves throughout the Mortal Kombat series. Also, we've got a playlist filled with everything Mortal Kombat, from origin stories to the best moments in the franchise, so be sure to check that out. All right, let's rip into number 10's face. Can't someone, anyone, explain to me what the hell is going on, right? Number 10, Johnny Cage's Deadly Uppercut, Take 2, Mortal Kombat 11. Who hired this guy? What the f***? Deadly uppercut, take 19. We're going to kick things off with the freshest entry into the Mortal Kombat franchise. The hype for Mortal Kombat 11 was immediately real when the teaser trailer for Johnny Cage was released, which depicted the action star's hilarious new fatality. Cut! Reset! <sighs> this sort of insider humor is par for the course when it comes to the world of Mortal Kombat, and is actually a throwback to two sources the 1995 movie where one of his fight extras misses his cue, This is where you fall down. And in Mortal Kombat 2, when he originally punches off an enemy's head three times. Johnny Cage wins. Number 9. Friendships. Mortal Kombat series. Friendship. Friendship? Again? Okay, so not everyone appreciates friendships, but these non-fatal finishers are somewhat nostalgic for gamers of a certain age. These humorous and often silly olive branches first appeared in Mortal Kombat 2, and they were a direct response to the first game's notorious reputation, as well as the public reception to its violence. Players could choose to have their characters do things like offer up a present, sign up an autograph, or do a little dance, leaving their opponents dazed and confused, but alive. Friendships were generally phased out of the Mortal Kombat universe after Mortal Kombat Trilogy in 1996, but they're honestly fun to revisit, even today. Friendship. Friendship. Number 8. Cassie Cage's Selfie, Mortal Kombat X. <laughs> it's not a very wise move to upset Cassie Cage. Want proof? Just ask any character who's had their bloody defeat plastered all over the internet. This is the theme behind this fan-favorite fatality. Here, Cassie busts up her opponent's jaw to the point where it's actually dangling from their face. She then takes a selfie and posts it to a hilarious MK-themed social media site titled, wait for it, Friendships. Even more hilarious are the comments this pic generates. Cassie wins. Number 7. Scorpion's Toasty Mortal Kombat series. Honestly, we just had to reference MK sound designer Dan Forden's classic Toasty Outburst here in this entry's title. But our next finisher is equally iconic. We're talking about Scorpion's most famous fatality, one which has been adapted throughout the Mortal Kombat titles. Ah! Toasty! It all started from the very first game in the franchise, where Scorpion shows off his gruesome skull face and burns his opponent alive. The animations have been altered over the years, sure, but this remains one of Mortal Kombat's most iconic finishing moments. Number 6. Snack for the Living Forest, Mortal Kombat 2011 The Living Forest has been a staple stage setting of the Mortal Kombat world since MK2. However, it took until 2005's Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks and Mortal Kombat 9 in 2011 that the Outworld level began to interact more with its characters. The former beat-em-up styled spin-off saw players interacting with the demonic trees in the forest by throwing their opponents into their malevolent mouths. This idea was amplified in the more traditional Mortal Kombat 9 and its stage fatality, where the living forest nearly devours defeated MK combatants whole, leaving just their legs behind. Jax wins. Fatality. Number 5. Quan Chi's Leg Club. Mortal Kombat 4 and Mortal Kombat 2011. <laughs> Whoa. 
Quan Chi wasn't an OG villain when the Mortal Kombat games were first released, but his first fatality in Mortal Kombat 4 made quite the impact. The act of ripping off an opponent's leg and then mercilessly beating them to death with it may sound simple, but that's because it is. Still, it's this sort of visceral satisfaction that makes Quan Chi's leg beatdown finisher something that we just keep returning to again and again. Quan Chi wins. Fatality. Number 4. Johnny Cage does Kubrick. Mortal Kombat X. Sure, we all know that Johnny Cage is a martial arts movie star, but does he possess any real acting chops? Well, in this amazing fatality, we see JC doing his best Jack Nicholson impression, albeit with a bit more blood and guts. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Honestly, we can't get enough of this one, and it's the perfect, ridiculous finisher for an equally flamboyant personality. Here's Johnny! Number 3. Sub-Zero's OG Spine Rip. Mortal Kombat. There are few characters within the Mortal Kombat universe as beloved or iconic as Sub-Zero. He's the only character in the franchise to appear in every game, and he even received his own spin-off title. Part of that is because of his spine rip fatality, which was one of the first game's most memorable moments, so memorable that it caught the attention of the United States Senate. Sub-Zero with fatality. Plus, it's been seriously upgraded over the years, including at one point in Deadly Alliance, where instead of the spine, he ripped out the whole skeleton. <laughs> Number 2. Noob Cybot's Wishbone. Mortal Kombat 2011. The mysterious ninja noob Cybot may possess a silly sounding name, actually taken from MK creators John Tobias and Ed Boon, spelled backwards, but there's absolutely nothing funny about his finishing moveset. Our particular favorite has to be the wishbone fatality from Mortal Kombat 9, where Cybot summons a shadowy mirror image of himself to grab their opponent's legs and tears the unfortunate victim apart. It's funny and gross all at the same time, sentiments which actually speak volumes about the Mortal Kombat series as a whole. New Cyber wins. Before we name our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Kitana wins. Number 1. Into the Pit, Mortal Kombat Series Maybe it's the surprise we felt when we first discovered you could knock your opponent off the bridge in the pit stage in the original Mortal Kombat. Or maybe it's how the pit drop stage fatality has been modified and amplified so much over the years without losing an inch of awesomeness or steam. Either way, an uppercut coup de gras was all that was required to trigger this gruesome finish back in the day, and we knew that we had stumbled across something awesome and iconic, a finishing moment which would stay with the Mortal Kombat universe forever. That shit looks painful. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? If so, there's more bloody good fun right here on our Mortal Kombat playlist, so make sure to check it out. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to watch Mojo.